Hello everyone, welcome to Stitch Trek, the show where we talk about Star Trek costumes, how to make them, where to get them on the cheap, and I review costumes that you can buy online. However, today is something slightly different because I found something that I am super excited about and want to share with you. Uh, this is just me hunting for Star Trek collectibles and coming across to what I think is a pretty good one. So it was my birthday a little while ago and we went to a antique store that I really love and out to dinner afterwards and we, I, with my keen eye, was able to find something in the endless shelves of this huge store that I am so excited about. I wanted to share it with you. Does it have to do with costumes? No, <laughs> but it does have to do with Star Trek. So here we are, just showing off something that I found because why not? Um, I had to look it up because it really didn't look like this should be the original container for this. The original, yeah, container is the only word. Um, but apparently it is. So this is what I came across while I was at the antique store. And it says Star Trek Blueprints, General Plans, Constitution Class USS Enterprise, drawn by Franz Joseph Designs. And I freaked out because I had not seen this before. Um, you can find this pretty readily online for sale, but I feel like uh, after looking it up, I got this at a screaming deal. It originally sold back in 1970. I feel like this said 75 on the inside. Back in 1975 for five bucks, and I bought it for nine. I have to figure out how to get the sticker off without ruining the plastic. Um, this container, this sleeve, is a little awkward, right? But it was the 70s. You can't, you know, this is essentially <laughs> of its era. This is what you would expect. Um, the reason that I judge this containment unit so harshly is this darn button right here. Every single one of these probably has this dent. Can you see it? Make it yeah. Catch it in the light. See that? Ugh. So I guess I wouldn't count that as a flaw because they probably all have it if it's still in its original sleeve. So I haven't actually unfolded this yet. This is going to be kind of an unboxing. Uh, I only took away the first piece of, it's, it's not like bound, the first piece of paper to see that it was really what it claimed and not stuffed with something else. But other than that, I really haven't gone through these to explore the innards. So uh, you're going to do it with me, I suppose. I'm going to move this to a place where I can lay them down, which I guess is going to be that table I'm refurbishing. I'm not refurbishing, it's an antique. I'm restoring an antique table. So I am going to try to shift all these lights over there. It's a drop leaf table that needs a lot of work. So I'm gonna put it on leaves on top of that. So yeah, hold on a second. Okay, let's do this. Let's look at the cover. It's all just a loose, loose leaf, which is fine. It makes it very frameable if you wanna frame it. I don't know if I can. like bring myself to do that because I like things to be in their original state. It is a second printing right there, 1975. And this is a wiggly table. <laughs> the first printing was in 1973. So yeah, very cute. All right, let's get to the first one. Oh God, Look, it teases you, right? Look at that. It teases you before you get to see the real thing. Oh, it's beautiful. Somebody apparently did have a little, a little, uh, what was it? Letter E? E, E, scribble. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. I love, I love um, marks from other people. I love that somebody else loved this. So I just, look at that, beautiful. Let's undo it all the way. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, everything's labeled. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> oh, 
All right, let's try this one out. All right, you got this little, little bit. Look at all that. Lovely information. Oh, <laughs> snap. Look at that, it is so pretty. Wow. Mm -mm. Gorgeous. Oh, this is just so pretty. You're gonna, I guess you're just gonna hear me gush about it. <laughs> Bow light, love it. Deflector shield grid, gorgeous. Running lights, of course, you have to have your running lights. So this is probably gonna be the other half, right? Yep. Oh, beautiful. This is from underneath. And the other one was from the top, right? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And I love this little removed section registration. Starboard side only. Beautiful. I love the size and shape of them too. Not just, you know, big normal sheets of paper. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this one is really cute. Look at that. So obviously previously owned by an American. They've been changing uh, meters to feet. That is cool. I love seeing fragments of somebody's investigation. I buy a lot of old books. I um, am really into history, especially for my home county. And every time I come across an old book about my home county, I pick it up. And um, I adore when I find stuff written in the margins, especially if it is more about the thing I'm investigating because I love any additional content and this is great. I know this might piss off some collectors, but this I, I love. I just love that somebody was so into this that they wanted to figure out just how big it, it was, is, theoretically, there isn't a real one, but um, they wanted to figure out just how large it was and be able to visualize it in the numbers they know best. And that that makes me really happy. I love that somebody else loved this. So, yeah, and apparently they like coffee. Or maybe that was a squished bug. I don't know. <laughs> but, oh my gosh. Gorgeous. So there it is from the front. There it is from the back. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, man. Let's get this next one. Is mm. yeah, deck plan zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, wow, gorgeous! Gorgeous. We've got some quarters, we've got circuit breaker and switch room, we've got air conditioning, we've got water pressure system. Love it, ventilation ducts. Cool. Air conditioning again. Bridge computer. Upper phaser bank room. Beautiful. Junior officer's quarters. They have a much smaller disc. Apparently not very many of them. But you know, you're starting out. You don't get to live with the general staff, apparently. Oh, cute. Okay, we got some sciences. We got high energy, chemistry, biology, geology, ion study, physics, social? Is that a, a social studies? And then we have botany, special studies. Grr, grr, don't know what that is. Um, cosmology, physics again, apparently they have two floors, but you know, awesome, so awesome. Enlarged bridge detail, really cool. That's gorgeous. <laughs> and I like the upper center platform, like everything, everything is thought out. Deck six. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Gorgeous. <gasps> Where's the other half? Wow. Lounge, lounge. They can envision Spock and Uhura. Uhura singing and Spock playing his Vulcan harp in one of these. Lovely. And I like engineering. 
It's right there. And engineering should have two floors, right? Because um, there's that episode with the Klingons where there's a ladder they go up. So let's see. Here's the next deck, and there it is. Yeah, the second story. Or is this the first story? This is seven. What did I just look at? Yeah, I don't know if these are in order. I think they are. Yeah, six. So that was six. This is seven. Somebody did not shuffle them out of order. Oh. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's just, it's all so perfect. Beautiful. You know what this is making me um, want to talk about? <laughs> if you have not been to the Ticonderoga, New York, Star Trek set tour, you got to find out a way to go. Because it is, this is just making me want to walk around inside of this, right? And that is the best way you possibly can do it. They built the original series set from original set blueprints, replicated everything to the best of their ability. It is phenomenal. It makes you feel like you're on the ship. And then I think that uh, Paramount was so impressed that they gave them, or CBS was so impressed that they gave them the actual bridge from Next Generation. So now you can go see them both. And I haven't been since the Next Gen bridge was installed, but I've seen pictures of it and I want to go back so badly. I don't actually live that far away. So I should just do it. Um, it's in this beautiful little town, Ticonderoga, New York. It's a blue collar town that went through a tough time in the 80s and 90s, but it's coming back. And I feel like a lot of why it's coming back is Star Trek. Like if you walk into the pizza place across the street, it's got Star Trek decor on the walls. And um, Ticonderoga in New York is also the home of Fort Ticonderoga, which is a historic fort and it has um, artifacts from the original. Is it the original Enterprise? It's one of the Enterprises. There have been a few Enterprises. And I don't mean the spaceship, I mean the actual ship, <laughs> the Enterprise, as well as other great artifacts from history. It's just a great place to go. So you could easily spend a whole weekend doing fun stuff in Ticonderoga. And yeah, support local businesses, keep that place going because this place needs more visitation to make sure it doesn't go under because the last thing we want to do is lose another set because like, is the Vegas one's gone? You know, we've had things and they've gone under because I didn't get enough support. So please, please go there and support them. Spend your money, buy a ticket. It's not that bad. It's a good price. And go in costume because it is the perfect time to get your glorious Star Trek photography done <laughs> it's so good i have pictures on my facebook from when i went and i'm just smiling too much smiling too hard so yeah okay here we go cargo cargo and there's a transporter pad in the cargo bay and observation lounge love it another lounge another lounge beautiful so pretty let's see what this is Just got everything is thought of. Love it. Non-organic, non-metallic fabrication. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. <gasps> Ooh! I wish we had seen more of this. I know we saw the gym, right? But fresh water tanks, pump machinery, entertainment center. Okay. Emergency transporter, okay. Recreation area, okay. Ship's computer, giant, great. Locker room, showers, because it's next to the gym. So many air conditioning areas. I mean, come on, don't wanna get hot in there. Food conveyor from secondary hall. Love it. Ship's laundry, mm-hmm. <laughs> but look at this entertainment center is apparently a park I wish we had gotten to see more of that that would have been cool beautiful Wow and okay let's see what this is shuttlecraft hangar 
gorgeous mess room observation gallery love it love it love it love it spotland of dirt turntable yep beautiful security gosh shuttle crown <laughs> Bridge. So that is the smaller detail of the larger uh, zoomed in illustration we saw before. And then, of course, you've got your dish sensor. Beautiful. Love it. Oh gosh, this is just, <laughs> this is so exciting. Turbo elevator repair. Everything is thought out. Amazing. Freshwater tanks. Like, I hope you're enjoying this as much as me. I mean, obviously, if you make it to the end of this video, <laughs> this is just fascinating. I love the botany section. Gorgeous. Okay, let's see. Exotic foods and be beverages preparation facility. So this isn't... Giant kitchen. If you don't, if you don't want replicator food, you can go to the the exotic foods and beverage preparation facility. Interesting. Bowling alley. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> pool. We never got to see the pool. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Regulation bowling alleys. Love it. Seating. <laughs> you know. Jeez. This is so great. I'm gonna go jump in the pool. So cool. And it was in um, the original animated series that the uh, holodecks first showed up. But this must have been before then. This was year two or whatever. <laughs> Not year four of the five year mission. Um, they didn't have. Oh, I love it. Okay, so it says pool. The pool, pool roof must be two stories because here it is again. Oh, you see, okay, yeah, here are the pumps and stuff, filtration system. And then here's the pool itself. So, what are these lounge chairs maybe? Sun deck, these windows. So you can sun. Get your solar solar sunburn. Recreation area. Gosh, I love it. Great. So this is a different gym though, isn't it? Or maybe the gym is two stories too. No, because that's a different gym. Yeah, that's on a different side of the ship. Gorgeous. Because there was another gym up by um, the the big garden that I wished we had seen. So there must be two gems on the ship. Beautiful. What is this? Refrigeration. Interesting. Fabrication facilities. Manual food preparation. That has to be a kitchen. And these are tables and chairs. So yeah, it's like it's like a cafeteria or restaurant. Great. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Awesome. Enter beyond this safety lock. Permissible only with environmental suits and entire main repulsion unit shut down. That is so evil. Anti-radiation suits. Cool. All right. <laughs> I can't believe we still have one. This, this and one more after that. Oh, we have a key. Okay, what is this? Hall bottom cargo holds. Transfer into two energy. So neat. Star date. Oh, interesting. Okay. 
proof by Jean Waterbury. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you, Franz. I am I am super into this. Stateroom. Bathroom, love it. Cute. So this is like the um general layout of a quarters, I guess. This is so cute. Twin beds. This one has twin beds. Room divider. So neat. I like how it even says what it's made out of. Water closet, sleeping area, wardrobe, living area. Great. Sludge tape inlet. It's just so... Shrubs, trees, flowers. So cute! It's all thought out. So you can see what, this is the key, every little shape. And then the key for every little abbreviation. So neat. So neat. And one more. Inboard profile sheet five. Oh, so it is out of order, but look at that. Oh. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, so see the pool's two stories tall. Oh. This is so, so lovely. Ugh. Oh, man. I am so glad I found this, you know? Some people think antique stores are boring, but <laughs> this is why you go. This is why you go. I'm not going to fix my curtain camera. <laughs> well, that was my review of my find. And this is why you go to places like Salvation Army and Goodwill and antique stores, because you find things like this. And let's see if I can get it back in the sleeve without messing anything up. Okay, it is safely secure, back in its little case. Thank you for watching. I am diligently working on the next costume episode. Uh, I just got a whole bunch more foam because it's going to be big. If you like what I'm doing here, if you'd be so kind as to thumbs up this video, share it, subscribe. That would mean the world to me. It's a very easy way to support what I'm doing and eventually I'll be able to actually monetize this if I get more than a thousand followers and be able to put that money toward buying fabric. The more support I get, the less reupholstering I have to do to make the money to do this and the less reupholstering I have to do, the more time I have to do this. So it all feeds back into more of these videos for you. And yeah, fun for all of us that way. Anyway, well, I have to put more sunscreen on and go out and mow my lawn. So thank you for being here. <laughs> Live long and prosper, everybody. <laughs> and